Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning back to Urban Tropical. This is Raj and today uh, I should get my excitement down. We're not going to talk about something super amazing. It's going to be plants. Can they stress you out? Uh, quite a big statement, but uh, they have stressed me out and I'm just going to share how, when and why. So before 2020, I was in love with plants. And during 2020, I was madly in love with the plants. If I would see a piece of furniture, all I would think is, how can I declutter that and make space for plants? If I go to shop, I mean, I'm always going to be in queue for a DIY stuff and their prices are so good. I will always pick something up and just bring home. And I will be just thinking in my head when I go home where I'm going to put it. I don't have any space, but oh, I'll make space for that. I just like it. So I just kind of, I would say the word now, I cluttered this house with the plants. I had so many plants. I, I wouldn't say I had hundreds of plants, but I had a lot of plants. I don't want to put a name on that now. So things were going well. I was so passionate about it. And I said, okay, let's open a YouTube channel. I love plants and they are doing so well. Well, everyone's sharing their passion. I'm going to share mine and started Urban Tropical. I still love plants. I just went to Ikea yesterday to get some, but if anyone wants to see Ikea video, let me know, I'll update it. I, I tried to make a video on my uh, Ikea plant haul, but there were not much plants. It was very little. If anyone's interested, I'll upload it to save you the hassle of going to Ikea. So anyway, I still love plants, but there was not a balance and I was stressed out. The reason I was stressed out I used to buy plants here and there, I would inspect, I wouldn't have a problem, all good. Then I had so many plants and bought at such a fast pace, I didn't get to inspect every single plant and I introduced a lot of pests into my house. So the number one was fungus gnats, which I haven't made a video on. I was bombarded with them like a, it was like a, in hundreds I would say if not thousands that's how bad it was and now you can imagine the stress you have I mean I can't be at peace all I was thinking if I was drinking a cup of tea and I see a fungus net going I just wanted to clap that's how much tempted I was and I don't care where my cup of tea goes on the floor on the carpet I just wanted to get rid of that fungus net but after experimenting all those things then I found mosquito dunks which you can get from Amazon. They work amazing. So fungus gnats gone. I was back to my happy place. Things went wrong again. I had threads. I didn't know what threads were. I don't know anything about them. All I saw something was harming my plant. I even bought magnifying glass in case something is so small that I can't see with my bare eyes. That's how crazy things went. So it was attacking all my clothias, not one, all my clothias. And I have a good clothia collection. I'm just glad they survived. They love me too much. Maybe that's why they survived. So anyway, I thought, okay, let's just do the routine with the neem oil spray and the fairy liquid mixed. Works wonders. It's so natural. Things can't go wrong. So done all that. But the leaves which I've damaged, they can't come back to life. They have to go. They just, just happen with threads. Either you cut them or you don't cut them. They're gonna go. So fair enough, my pinstripe was completely gone. I now have one leaf more coming up, which is such a good news. And then my medallion was completely gone. I have got maybe five leaves left on it. I'll just put the image in how it looks now after being affected by threads. I don't think this one was affected by threads. Otherwise, I would have seen a lot of damage. I've got two of them. Second one doesn't look good. I never saw threads on it, but the damage, it was there was something causing the damage. So then I did all these routines every 10 days, every 10 days, and I got rid of all the threads. And But the transition from not knowing what I had and to all the plants I kind of killed in between, it was stressful. And every time on YouTube, I'm always searching things on Google, reading. I do read a lot about plants. And actually... Sometimes there can be such a bad face no one discusses about and it can cause you stress. Actually, no one talks about having past how much stress it can cause you. It can change your perspective on having too many plants as well. It did happen to me, but I will just get into that. 
so I got rid of it completely. I was so happy in a happy place. But after that, I started to reevaluate. I was thinking, I have got so many plants. I am struggling to water all of them. Should I have more plants than I can look after? And the answer is quite obvious. I just didn't want to accept it. I just kind of let it go. Yeah, I can do it. I can do it. And uh, I was not in peace deep down. I was kind of giving myself this uh, fake answers that is good. I have so many plants and I have so many plants. And then one day I just said to myself, enough is enough. So I used to have three tier shelf here, which I decided I don't need any more because I don't want so many tiny, tiny plants. I had approximately, I would say nine to 12 plants in this room, which was all hanging up down here. And I decided to get rid of them. I put them on Facebook and I sold them for whatever price it was. And I used that money to buy bigger plants. And I feel so much good. that So there is a statement the plant isn't supposed to make and I don't have to worry about watering three or four pots or worrying about pest on the three or more pots. I have got one big plant. Now the benefits of big plant versus a small plant. Big plant can sustain itself really well. Big plant can do well even if you have put it in a low to medium light and big plant looks good. Small plants you need to have a a lot of care because they are small is just nature that's how it works small things needs more care smaller rooting system big thing has bigger rooting system and you can just deal with it it's much easier that's my experience so then i decided okay i'm just gonna clear all this and replace it with this so all i have got is right now three plants in this room and oh everything else is gone and i just feel so good so then I, I used to have like snake plant here, zizi plant here. I, I still want them, but I want them big. The reason I want them big, then the low light comes into equation. I will talk about that in a different uh, shoot because that's again, it's a big thing about low light. And my experience of low light and all these videos, top five low light plants. Um, I don't know if there is such a thing, if you are expecting a plant to do something. So I don't think there is such a thing as low light plant and be happy with it and, and let it make a statement. So again, could be so wrong, but that was my experience. I don't believe in that. So then I thought, okay, I'm going to do this. And then in my kitchen, I have got so many plants, which I'm trying to just recycle and shift, make it a bigger statement making plants. Now let's talk about Instagram. So I haven't actually been on Instagram for a good six months, I think. So when I started Instagram, I just saw these amazing people, everyone's following. They have these beautiful plants. And I'm just thinking, my God, it's so good. I can have that plant and I can have this plant. But actually when you buy it, the reality is not the same. The person who is you know doing all these on instagram they dedicate a lot of time to their plants and they would have the right location and the right lighting and the right regime for their plants and some people are just green fingered not everyone has to put a lot of effort so when i bought plant even uh, philodendron mechans the ones uh, velvety one my god it's so slow grower i kind of uh, got fed up i was thinking come on you should grow now now i have put it in direct light and it's growing so well so there you go the instagram and the lighting and things don't work out so i do actually i have stopped going on instagram because i just see everything so perfect it's good to admire but it's not always good to implement. Again, you need to watch the space you have. I don't think I can cram any more plant in this room. Otherwise, they just kind of take over. So then I have seen all these displays where people have put so many plants onto their windowsills and because that's a good source of light. So the problem I find with that is I don't do that. The reason I don't do that, when I put that everything on my windowsill, all the light from the windowsill is blocked to get here so that means i'm giving light something on the windowsill but i have compen not compensated i have caused a problem all this area here so it's like you can have one or the other and uh, it's like really hard to find a balance when you end up having so many plants because you will never say i want one plant to do well and leave the other alone you want 
all of them to do well is just like i don't know i think it's a human thing right you won't pick one plant over the other you could pick as a favorite but you still want both to do well the other reason i thought okay i should get rid of all these small small plants because if anything goes wrong it's just too much headache. I have got different plants to look after. If things go wrong with one big plant, you only have one to look after. At the same time, only one to die as well. So this is the thing. But sometimes you end up having really rare plants and then things go wrong. Then it's a different matter. Imagine you have paid hundreds for a plant and it's not doing well. I I'm 100% sure you will not leave Google or YouTube alone just trying to figure out what is going wrong with my leaf. Actually, it's happening to one of my plants and I have searched it approximately 20 times. There is no clue. I mean, it's kind of statics there. I might make a YouTube on it if any of you have experience there and can tell me what to do. I really don't know what's going on and it's not getting worse at a fast speed but it is getting bad but there is i have kind of dissected the knowledge on that plant the centurium and nothing is on there but this is my point the time we're going to spend to search for things when something is expensive so i kind of refrain myself from buying rare plants that's a different topic altogether because we are talking about here how plants can cause a stress or is it worth having a lot of plants um, in my opinion only have what you can manage so I kind of got rid of a lot of the plants just replacing with bigger ones and I'm going to carry out the same in the kitchen and in my bedroom I have got 10 plants and they are all low light plants and I don't think they're doing great, but I will just show you in one of the videos how my bedroom is looking. If I don't highlight the problems, it looks amazing. You just think, my God, it's so good. We can just do that. But once I start to talk about the things which no one talks about go wrong, I wouldn't say that you would do that. But that's a separate video. I, again, it's my opinion and you can share your opinions at the bottom. And I'm sure some people might relate and some might think this is just a nonsense, but it's my nonsense. Thank you so much for tuning back to Urban Tropicals, Raj and Bye Bye for now.